Hi guys, welcome to the channel, quick general love reading for my friends Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's find out together what's coming through for you, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Here we go, we are ready. So your energy is 10 of cups, 8 of pentacles, 4 of cups, ace of swords, your person's energy is ooh, 7 of swords. Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, Two of Wands, Meeting Energies, Six of Wands, King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Our Focus, The Hermit, Bottom of the Deck, Ten of Pentacles, which is an energy about legacy, even a family picture, but in this flow it can be the higher goal, even if we can consider that uh, some of you can be married because we have also the four of wands if that's the case this person is going to lose uh, quite a lot unfortunately all right all right here we go the situation will improve reconsider Communicate clearly, we are covered, thanks to the Ace of Swords and the King. Don't stop, bottom of the deck, guys. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Bottom of the deck, we have separation. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So guys, two scenarios in this um, flow of energies, in this reading. One, for some of you, still single but maybe willing to consider the opportunity to embrace a new love connection. Uh, this one doesn't seem to be the person for you. You may have multiple episodes that can justify the idea that this person um, is not up to the task. Unfortunately, we have the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Wands together. It can be even a player if we want to follow the uh, usual association that we can um, that we can make about these energies. Uh, the Ten of Wands is kind of interesting for them because it seems that they can be the type of person that in order to justify a superficial approach when it comes to a new love connection they can say that they have always a lot of things to do they are extremely busy you know the man in the ten of wands is taking care of uh, tasks and duties of the everyday life which is fine but in this case, this person has a second motive, you know, an ulterior motive. The Two of Wands, guys, is a crossroads. They are going to face a crossroads. Uh, the word that we see in the um, hand of the man in the Two of Wands basically is about a completion. The completion is going to come as soon as you guys uh, can speak up. You have the Ace of Swords, it can follow the King of Swords in the meeting. We are truly almost ready to share a conversation that can allow us to move on from this connection. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands in this scenario can be like a higher goal. Let's think about a partnership built in the proper way, solid foundations, an opportunity that can go the distance. 
uh, the type of opportunity that some of you guys are willing to work for, Eight of Pentacles, this is a mindset. It is the opposite if we think about the Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands combination. That's why the Hermit as our focus is a quiet moment in order to think at the 100% about a connection, a person, an opportunity. You can get your clarity, Ace of Swords, you can speak your truth. The Four of Cups in this case becomes um, your response to what this person can bring to the table because they can be all about the sexual side of a connection. You are not interested. If you are aiming at the Four of Wands, you are willing to ignite the connection kind of slowly but in a serious way. You didn't get the perception that this person was on the same page. The King of Swords is about connecting all the dots. The Six of Wands is a progression. We move on, we leave the battlefield behind. Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands can be a combination that uh, describes a challenging connection, let's say. Uh, let's call it a battlefield if we want to. So separation can be the outcome. Guys, for others of you, committed or married to this person, what can I say to you? I think that you can get what we are looking at in this particular uh, situation. There can be a betrayal, seven of swords, knight of wands, it can be an affair. The two of wands can be a decision, meaning that this person made a decision, it was a poor one, unfortunately. Now they are going to face the consequences of their actions and even if the connection was an important one for you ten of cups ten of pentacles four of wands you have worked for it but in return you didn't get what you were hoping for we can say that a partner let you guys down big time now the Four of Cups can become a defensive mode, protective mode. Look, leave me alone. Uh, don't bother me because I do not want to talk with you right now, but I am going to, Ace of Swords, as soon as I have figured out how to handle the whole situation. The Page of Pentacles, guys, in this uh, scenario can be an apology. It is way, way too small as a token. The Hermit can be the type of energy that um, describes a quiet moment in order to think. This is also an energy about singlehood, guys, for me, because the Hermit is willing to embrace a moment of solitude. We got the keyword moving on, happily single. It's like a progression for some of you. King of Swords can be the energy of a conversation, basically. This is the type of energy that can allow you guys to point out that because of the mistake of this person, the situation is going to change. If it is a marriage, we are basically talking about the necessity to handle um, a separation, a divorce, let's say. You can be victorious, but the transition can still be a challenging one. And so we cannot pretend that um, it is an easy walk in the park, you know. But still, guys, we have a big problem in this flow. This person can even try to hold on to the connection, like for their life, for example. But at some point they will have to give up. So the situation can improve for you guys 100%. The Reconsider Oracle card is about a change of mind, which can be uh, something at play in the two scenarios that we have seen. Communicate clearly. It's an honest conversation, one that we cannot avoid, and also one that this person is not going to like. Don't stop is the movement forward. A movement forward that basically is going to bring 
those of you guys that can resonate with uh, the two scenarios kind of away and far from this person so if you are dealing with a player and you are still single this person can be a Latin lover they can have their options open and basically they are not uh, marriage material allow me to say that's why you can say look I am not interested uh, what you can offer is not my cup of tea and kind of the same thing can be said by those of you that maybe were committed or married to this person uh, they were dishonest guys seven of swords lies betrayals deceit they took action because of passion with someone else and after a hesitation which can even follow the hermit some of you are going to speak up in order to close the situation for good there can be victory again moving forward guys for those of you that may desire to uh, pursue once again a four of wands energy uh, in the future there can be the chance to do that but first we have to um, break free from a connection that unfortunately um, didn't work this person didn't honor the connection with you and there is a price uh, for that 100 percent so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye